another 30 minutes with the low who puts a high in your viewing entertainment. Paying a return visit with us today is the Tony Award winning actress Virginia Capers. Miss Capers recently was one of the multitude of stars who illuminated the 90th birthday tribute to Edwin Lester. This country has its Monroe Doctrine and Monroe Shock Absorbers. A recent addition to this list is the Monroe created for TVs too close for comfort. And with us is his alter ego, one of the Lone Star State's favorite stars, Jim Bullock. And now, here's your host and man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Ah, the Lafayette Players. Tell me about that. You're involved with the Lafayette Players. Oh, but decidedly, I am not only the executive director, I'm the founder. The founder? <laughs> Yes. You know, uh, Skippy, after I won my Tony on Broadway, right. I expected every door to fly open in Hollywood, and they didn't. And that was kind of sad. And I looked about me, and I found that there were so many others like me, black actors who were established, who had their credits, you had been given years of marvelous service to the entertainment industry, uh -huh. and they were having trouble getting employment. So I started Lafayette Players West with the idea that they not only get employment, uh -huh. but they get visibility. Ah. And from the very beginning, we had wonderful notices from the Times, uh -huh. from the Herald Examiner, from Dramalog, uh -huh. and people have just been enthused about what we have to do. But we find now that we have to have our own theater. Ah. And uh, we just love to do that. You love the theater, don't you? Oh, Fritchie? my Lord. Yes. Tell me something. You have in the love affair with your audience, don't you? You said that last time to me. <laughs> and the love affair. What do you mean by that? Tell me. I don't, well, how can I say it? First of all, I enjoy being there. Uh -huh. I enjoy being on the stage. I like that vibration that comes across the footlights and, and just envelops you. And it's, it's like surrendering to a lover. Uh -huh. You give your all. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia, tell me something. The Jewish theater, that's where you really started, didn't yes, you? Yes, started on the Yiddish stage. Did you, really? Ich hab gespielt auf der Yiddish Bühne. Ah, we're on 2nd Avenue in New York? That's right, the National Theater. And I uh, worked with the Fader sisters. I worked with uh, Aaron Lebedoff. Mm, these and are Jewish actors, great Jewish <laughs> actors, right? He's a musician. Oh, is he? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, his, I think his most famous song is Romania. Romania, 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 Romania. Oh, yes, yes. That one. And uh, I worked with Maurice Schwartz. In fact, I owe a lot to Maurice Schwartz, especially uh -huh. in getting inside of a character and learning to mime and learning to make every moment count on the stage, whether you were speaking a line or not. Uh -huh. has nothing to do with scene stealing. It's b being totally involved in uh -huh. what you're doing uh -huh. Uh -huh. so that you're hearing it for the first time every night. Uh so that your, your performance fresh. never fresh. gets dull. It's fresh, yeah, right, yeah. right. You know how, I never understand how so many actors say, oh, I'm so tired, I get so bored doing the same thing, uh -huh. the same thing. Most, Mr. Schwartz taught me, if you tried for the rest of your life, uh -huh. you could not do the same performance each night. Mm -hmm. You're going to read at least one line differently. Oh, I see. You're going to have a different feeling. You don't even come in the theater with the same emotions every night. No, you have to look like it's fresh every It is yeah. fresh, yeah. you know? Yeah. It yeah. is a new birth. Yes, yes. Like every day. Yeah. Virginia, last time I saw you, you tribute to Edwin Lester at the Civic Center, right? Downtown? Yes. Tell me about that. How was it? Was it very successful or what? It was marvelously successful, and I had a wonderful time being on uh -huh. the Dorothy Chandler stage again. And uh, I don't know how many people that sat in the audience. He mm. discovered you. Not going to do He <laughs> discovered Virginia Capers. For Los Angeles. For Los Angeles, I mean, <laughs> yes. yeah. Yes. He found me on stage uh, performing for Bobby Fryer ah. in a show called Saratoga, which starred Carol Lawrence and Howard Keel. Yes. I had a show-stopping number called Petticoat High. I remember that. And Cecil Beaton did my costumes, and I looked like I was seven feet tall, and I had <laughs> all this marvelous lace, and I uh -huh. danced, and I sang, uh -huh. and he was in the audience, and he brought me here. He brought you to California. He brought me to California, where I met Eddie Foy, uh -huh. whose brother Briny Foy was doing a movie, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I got my first film job. What was your first? What that was, was it? My what was it called? House of Women. Old House Christmas. of Women? I haven't seen it House yet. House of Women. <laughs> 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 Who was in that? Mamie uh, Van Dorn? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Who was in that? We had Barbara Nichols, we had Shirley well, Knight, that's... Andrew Duggan, Jason Edwards, Virginia Gregg. Oh, what a cast. Few. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell me something. Edwin Lester, Bobby Morse was on that show, too. How did he do? 
Oh, I hear, Bobby. Isn't he, oh, isn't he great? He's so delightful. He is so delightful. Uh -huh. The whole show, there was such a camaraderie there that night. Uh -huh. And it was performers discovering each other for the first time. Like, uh, I didn't know Jean Fenn, and uh -huh. she didn't know me. Uh -huh. I knew of her. I'd yeah. seen her. Yeah. But to get close to know her, uh -huh. I heard Dorothy Kirsten as I had never heard her before. Oh, she's great. And she said she was coming back to the business. She said, I've been away too long. The excitement caught everyone, Nanette uh -huh. Fabre, um, you Mary did, Martin. You, you did Kiss Me Kate? I did Kiss Me Kate ah. with Patrice Munsell. Ah. You know, and Patricia Morrison is my neighbor, and of course it was a delight for me to introduce her because she was the original Kate in Kiss Me Kate. Uh -huh. You love the theater, don't you? I do love the theater. But theater, it's theater musical. It's not just comedy theater. I mean, comedy theater, you, it's called theater. Remember we had it's John Green? He theater said, for me. Theater. Yes, the the because, uh, musical theater, that's, that's what it's right. called. When, musical I theater. Did, when I did Raisin, I consider that a drama with music. That's it, yes. You know, and it was absolutely marvelous. Matter of fact, you were brilliant in that. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. I only had one sad note from uh, the tribute to Mr. Lester. What? That when everybody talked about the show uh -huh. and everybody raved about the show, they left me out. They didn't talk about me. Why? My heart was, how do I know? What do you know? mean they left you out? I don't know They did in the lineup. They didn't put down the lineup. You weren't in the lineup? Mm -mm. And you were... I've seen several uh, articles. And you are the one who organized it with... Um, no, I didn't organize Well, you helped I her. sang for the guarantors that put up the music that's center. I, you helped, that's right. You, you did it, yes. The yes. music center. That's right. You're the one of the ladies. You were <laughs> started, you came out here, started that's at that right. music center. That's right. Jamaica on Broadway. Lena with Lena Horn. Horn. Uh, you played the grandma. Of, grandma. I was the standby for the grandma. Ah. Yes. I saw that that night. <laughs> ah, yeah. Standby for the grandma. Tell me yeah. about Lena Horn. Lena definite, Horn. isn't she? De that's an understatement. Definite. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you something fantastic about Lena. Uh, in in a lot of ways, she's like a chameleon. One day, all the youngsters were sitting on the stage, and I uh -huh. think the average age of the average girl in the ensemble at that time was about 21 years old and right. Lena wasn't exactly 21 years old yes and all the girls were sitting on stage and suddenly someone said where is Lena Horn <laughs> and they're looking all over for Lena Horn uh -huh. she was sitting right in the middle of the girls <laughs> she looked exactly like them uh -huh. if not younger than they uh -huh. she had on one not one stick of makeup. have you ever seen her without makeup no, no. she looks like a kid she really lets people she see her without makeup she really does uh -huh. She looks like, when she's not on stage, she uh -huh. only puts her, stay, her makeup on when she's going on stage. She That's doesn't, the only she, time she walks out in the street without any makeup. Really? She walks down the street, people don't, don't, don't even know it's Lena Horn. She looks like a kid. There are no wrinkles, uh -huh. there are uh -huh. no lines. Uh -huh. She's just absolutely perfect. And she wears very simple clothing, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. That's great. You just can't imagine that the great, fantastic, exciting, oh, stimulating uh -huh. Lena Horn, star without peer, uh -huh. could walk down the street did without you see makeup. Her, did you see her one-woman show at the... Sure, uh, wouldn't she, miss it for you'd, nothing. She's great. I, I loved yes, her. because she, she was very electrifying. You know something? There's a television show that was on, it's been on for a long time now. It's too close for comfort. And the zaniest thing in that show, I tell you, he is just is brilliant. Jim Bullock. You got it, <laughs> Jim Bullock. I like you to, you know him. I'm going to bring him on. Him. I, Jim, how are you? Jim Bullock. Look at those trousers. How are you? Jim, I'm if your fine, sex life is busy as those trousers, you're in. No, it's Jim to get behind your side. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Jim? I'm fine. How are you doing? Wonderful. He does fine. Doesn't he? Right? There we go. Yeah, yeah you're in. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm okay. hear you fine. You can't, I think Tell me, you're, 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 you're from Texas. Yeah. God almighty. Oh I, I thought you were from Oklahoma. I did not know. Until your young lady said Texas. I, well, I went to school in Oklahoma. Oh, Maybe that's why you're thinking. That's, I went to Oklahoma Baptist University. That's what I heard. You were Baptist? Right. I was Baptist. You're I was blood, raised and bred Southern Baptist. Oh, <laughs> Southern Baptist. <laughs> I was born in this I'm state. Presbyterian now, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? You changed your mind on that. No, but, I just, uh, I just, when I moved out to L.A., I just joined the Hollywood Presbyterian Church. It's oh, a great church. Uh-huh. But tell me something. Too close for comfort. Now, they changed that title. They got Ted Knight Show now. It's called the Ted Knight Show. Yeah. And you are the only regular they kept on. Now tell me well, about that. Really? Nancy Dassault. 
Oh, is she? Yeah, and of course, Dad. <laughs> not naturally, but everyone else has changed. Well, yeah, they, they, uh, the girls are not on the show anymore, right. and they brought on Pat Carroll. Do you know Pat Carroll? Of course, Either of course, of course. Yeah. She She's is funny. so wonderful. wonderful. Oh, yes. She is terrific. Yeah. And Lisa Attell yeah. uh -huh. is a new uh, addition to the cast. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, it, they, they changed the whole premise. It's no longer, we it, don't live in San Francisco, and he's not a cartoonist anymore. What is it? Well, we live in Sausalito now, or they live in Sausalito, uh -huh. I still live in San Francisco, uh -huh. and he bought 49% of, uh, of, of this small newspaper called the Marin Bugler uh -huh. that Pat Carroll owns 51% of. Uh -huh. And so I work for Ted now at the newspaper office right. as, a, as a reporter. Uh -huh. And Nancy works as a photographer, and the little baby is still on there. Well, he's, uh, he's actually about five years old now. Uh -huh. He's still on the show. <laughs> of course, you just can't, you know, kill off a You're kid, having you know? fun with that show, aren't you, Jim? <laughs> I'm having a wonderful time yes. with it. I really, I'm and becoming rich and famous. And, and not only that, he's just happened to, he's lucky, he came to Hollywood. You, I mean, you came from Texas to here. Oh, yes. And what, how many years ago? I came out in 1977. Didn't know a soul, just uh -huh. moved out here, you uh -huh. know, and uh -huh. uh, Didn't know just, anyone. Uh, just a blind it. ambition dream to, you know, to come out here. And uh, I had applied in Dallas at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute, and they accepted me over the, th the phone, and I went, oh my God, over, over the my phone. palate must be immunating from this phone receiver, <laughs> you know? They want me, you uh -huh. know, they want me out there. Yeah. So I went out, I uh -huh. came out, I mean, I, I worked at a truck stop, and I worked at the phone company for six months to save uh -huh. money to come out, uh -huh. and I came out, and my mother brought me out, dumped me, you know, <laughs> then went back, and uh, I studied at Strasberg and for like nine months, then I, got lost in you know uh -huh. restaurants working at Bob's Big Boy and Victoria Station and uh -huh. then thank God I did a musical I did Godspell at the Hollywood Presbyterian Church and right. an agent saw me Godspell in North Hollywood No at the Hollywood No no that Pe here at it, Franklin Really yeah. is that where you yeah, Okay they Christmas. had one in North Hollywood too I didn't wonderful know. Yeah. Theater there. yeah okay Oh well, Godspell's done like every day yeah, out here you know Yeah right <laughs> I mean, you know, please. we're doing so Godspell you, you oh, didn't great what's new you know that's where it all began. Yeah, an agent saw me, and uh -huh. uh, but during that time when I was at Strasburg, I showcased with you. Oh yeah, I had. I, I have did a your singing showcase. Talent showcase. Yeah. That was at my first taste of performing at the Hyatt on Sunset. Oh, Hyatt on Sunset, the Russian Renaissance, which is no yes. longer there anymore. Hey, that's they leveled right, that Jim. Thing. I remember now. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, you were I'm studying with Jeannie uh, Robinson. Robin, yeah. Robbins, yeah. Jeannie Robins? Robbins. Robbins. Robins? Yeah, that's right. Jeannie Robbins, Robinson. yeah. She was oh. at the Lee Strasberg oh, Institute. Dear. But you know She's something? There. There's all difference between the Institute and Actor Studio. Isn't that right, Jim? Oh, a lot okay. of people don't know that. Yes. Explain oh. that to them, will you? Well, there's a difference. I've never studied at the Actor Studio. I really wouldn't know. But, but they don't pay at the at the actor's studio. No, and also I think I was very disillusioned at Strasbourg because I, you know, I had wanted to to, and I had studied since uh -huh. you know high school, you right. know, to to further to my craft. And I came out here, and there were like people that had just. You know, like all of a sudden one afternoon when they were bored, they thought, you know, I think I'll go to Hollywood and become Louis Stone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so they come out here, they have the money to pay at Strasburg. Yeah. They've never yeah. been on the stage in their life. That's right. And you're thrown in the same class with these people. And you're, right. and you're, uh, and I'll never forget my first scene was with Bernardino from Puerto Rico. He could hardly speak English. <laughs> He'd never been on the stage in his life. His father died and left an inheritance. Uh -huh. He decided to come to L.A., you know, and become, you know, uh -huh. Lorenzo Lamas or whatever. Right. And, and it was horrible. Our first scene was just horrible. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We did a Hemingway piece. But how you grew. <laughs> how you grew. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling well, you. It, but he it, had it in him all the time. See, this, it's, this you got the talent, but it's got to so be brought up. He has so personality. Yeah. He exudes it. You know, he yeah, sits yeah. across the room and magnets yes, fly. Yes, you yes, see, yes. you see, you see. Yes, yes, yes. But seriously, he has yeah. so much, you yes. know. That's how it all began with Jim Bullitt to come to Hollywood on Godspell. Yeah. They just, and they've got you into the television, and that's how they... Oh, yeah. Well, that, what happened from that is an agent saw me in that and said, give me a call Monday. Yeah. And I freaked out. I thought, this is the answer. I have wanted an agent for so long, and uh -huh. I thought, I finally got an agent. Thank God. Uh -huh. So I call her up Monday. I'm working part-time at this Wells Fargo bank. Uh -huh. So I call her up. I'm so nervous, you know. And I just, all the weekend, I've heard, we want to we want to sign you. That's all uh -huh. I've heard all weekend. I've confirmed it in my soul. I've climbed up to a mountain with Shirley MacLaine and said, <laughs> it'll happen! You know. <laughs> 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 Sign that sign skipping. Anyway, <laughs> so we get, we get, we get, I got, I called, and uh -huh. so I, I was so ready. And she said, "Have you ever thought about doing stand-up comedy?" Uh -huh. And I just went, my heart just dropped. It stopped. And I mean, I had been to the, the comedy store like months prior to that, uh -huh. and that's one thing I said, I will never do that. I will never ever do stand-up comedy because that was terrifying. 
And she said, I really think you should try it. I think that, you know, you could uh -huh. do it really, very well, uh -huh. and I think that it would get your foot in the door. Uh -huh. And thank God for that woman. Her name was Joanne King, and uh, she was one of those agents that, uh -huh. that you read about. Knew. You know. She just knew mm -hmm. that you had yes. that. Yes. The, the extra do. insight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I see that sometimes too, Virginia. I really do. There's a lot of good singers out there, I see, you know. Sam, Sam Harris uh, came to my place at the mm. Hyatt when I did the showcase. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sam and I had another girl by the name of Loretta Holloway. You know Loretta? She's wonderful. Good no, singer. The name sounds very Yeah, familiar. she works mm -hmm. Vegas a lot. She works in the Far East. She's very, very good singer. Real good. Tell me, what's happening with you and exciting in your life now, Virginia? Are you singing at all? I mean, just not just the Lafayette players now. Come on, Virginia. It has broke my heart. No, I'm not singing. Currently, I'm not singing. I'm preparing for a concert. Uh, uh, a sad note. I lost my mother, um, and we are doing uh, a tribute to my mother next year, uh -huh. and I'm preparing for a concert, especially for her, but uh -huh. what I am doing uh -huh. is having a party on a Saturday night. You are? Yes, 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 and you are coming uh -huh. because you are going to be one of the judges. Oh, okay. Lafayette Players West, my company uh -huh. for inspired actors and established actors. Uh, is having a pre-Halloween party, uh -huh. and uh, it's come as your fantasy. Now, <laughs> and you're going I don't to know face about as your fantasy, Jim. <laughs> 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 and uh, it's a fundraiser because we are determined to have a theater. And since the Hollywood Heritage, the Waddle Estates, yes. now has taken that over and are restoring that, uh -huh. one nonprofit organization is helping another. Uh -huh. The Hollywood Heritage Society is going to have us there, and we will pay for the establishment, which will go to the restoration uh -huh. of the Waddles Estate, which uh -huh. is a marvelous place. Yes, oh, it is. Yes, and yeah. then the monies that we earn helps us get our theater. How wonderful. That's great. Where's where the theater going to be? Well, I'll tell you where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in Hollywood. And the reason I wanted to be in Hollywood, because Hollywood for me is the crossroads of the world. Because people from everywhere come to yes, Hollywood. Yes. You haven't lived. It's like going yeah. to Disneyland. Yeah. You, know, so you, you haven't just lived until you've you gone to Hollywood. Something. You, know, said, you said something. Crossroads of the world. It there really is. There is a place downtown in Hollywood. Crossroads. crossroads. I don't know why someone doesn't do something with that place. It's a very busy place, dear. It, Never try it? to get parking in there. You die. <laughs> it's, it's a, a very busy place. I like Several that Several commercial area. agents very, are in there. Are there really? Oh, yes. Many businesses are in there. Uh -huh. But Hollywood itself, people of all races, mm -hmm. people of all uh, uh -huh. financial levels, yes, yes. are there and they come and they rub elbows, they see what is there. You, if you come to the United States from a foreign country, yeah. you cannot leave unless you've seen New York or Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You know, you haven't been to the United States if you go to Wakanaka, Minnesota, you yes, know, yes. but if you go to Texas. <laughs> oh, tell me something about Texas. Away across Georgia. <laughs> come on, Jim, tell me about your hometown, Texas. Where, where in Texas are you from? I'm from Odessa, Texas. Odessa. Now, that's, is that big or small? Uh -huh. It's about 100,000 people. Oh, that's not bad. It's kind of famous. It's got uh -huh. the world's largest jackrabbit. The world's a, largest a monument. jackrabbit. No, I'm telling you, it's got <laughs> that's a, a, funny. downtown, there's like this statue of this rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That, that's it. I was I watching the dating that, game once, and I went, funny. you and your date will be flown via American Airlines to Odessa, Texas, <laughs> where you'll be seen in the famous end of the Golden West, and <laughs> visit such sites as the world's largest jackrabbit. <laughs> <laughs> and you should have seen the date. They were like, going. <laughs> I am so disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. But that's where I'm from. That's home. That's um, 100,000 is not uh, small nowadays. It's, no, it's, it's not. It's, big. it's really not. Yeah. You know. But you're living here in California now, and you love it. Huh? Oh, I, I How love How about theater? That. Do you like to do theater, John? I love would, the theater. Would you like to do I the theater? Love stage. Stage? I, I love stage. I love... There's, you get a high out of performing live that you just don't get on anything else. That's the truth. But you know something? She gave you a good compliment before the show. She said that you sang great. Did you did some singing. Compliment. Where did you see him perform? Uh, uh -huh. We did a tribute to the one and only Mr. Iggy Wolfington, uh -huh. who, as you uh -huh. know, for years headed the, the Hollywood chapter of the Actors Fund. True. And another fantastic talent. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we did a tribute to him when he was stepping down from office. And this young man came on with two other young men. And I didn't know he could sing. Uh -huh. And at rehearsal, uh -huh. I was bowled over. Uh -huh. Absolutely bowled. He has range. He good, has great. quality. Good voice. Good phrasing. Yeah. A good musical intelligence. Uh -huh. And I said, and I'm watching him on TV being crazy. <laughs> and he has this. 
Uh -huh. I'll tell you something. If he had really studied, he could have easily gone into opera. Really? Uh huh. He, I think he's either very tenor or, or very high. That's in what voice. my voice teacher said in college. Yeah. What kind of songs do Jim? I mean, are you serious, uh, singer? He's Broadway, is Broadway, Broadway singer. Broadway, is he? Yeah. Broadway? Broadway, really? But if he had yeah. studied, oh, he would have been just absolutely marvelous. Ooh, have you, have you. you tried? Would you like to do a nightclub act? Wouldn't you like to do? As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm working on a nightclub. You act. are. I'm oh, getting my head should? together, and I'm taking get, it you're on gonna the take, road. You're gonna take, <laughs> it has nothing to do with age. I'm getting my head screwed on right, and I'm going to take it on the road. <laughs> you're going to uh, open. Yeah. You know, where's the place to break it in here is Gardenia. They're all I've heard. The yeah. Gardenia, not yeah. the Vine Street Grill. I don't. The Vine Street Grill, it's, stay away. Well, the Vine Street uh, no, Grill. Don't be mean. Has, no, I don't Oh, more, I'm not being more, mean. More established performance. And you have an audience that comes to, because the people who come there have a following already. The Vine Street Grill. The Vine Street yeah, Grill. Yeah, but I think. But at the Gardenia, it's new faces. Yeah, I it's think. New they're, faces. they're wonderful there. They're just it's a very nice room. Wait till yeah. I open my establishment. You're going to um, open one? I've got to. With my theater, I have to yes, have. Yes, 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 yes. Jim Bullock, tell me about Ted Knight. I, is he seriously ill or, or just read oh, something? Is he is that just, the Inquirer? Yeah, that's what I want to talk about. God, the Inquirer. Talk about the Inquirer. Tell me. Yeah, I really want to know about that. Ted Knight I went really into uh, the hospital to have a, a small operation. Well, it was major surgery, but it was all the problem was is from his uh, kidney to his bladder, there's a little <sighs> tube that was, that was stopped yeah. up, yeah. and they had to go in and, and clear it. Yes. And I read in Inquirer this week. I, that's what I Ted said. Ted Knight secretly battles cancer. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. And I read this big long article about it, and I went, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. No. I guess I don't have an Inquirer in mind. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, it was so stupid. So it's not that. Oh, it's not of true. course, Ted. How, How can they get away? Read that How do they? But, I don't read it. I was standing in there in line, and I see Ted's mug, and I go, "Oh no, cancer!" You know, I just this is just too funny. Oh, were you but there I to play the lottery, or were you there to buy groceries? Jim, <laughs> I read something about you in the Enquirer. What? Well, you're hanging around with some beautiful girl from Texas. She's here, and she's an actress. Oh yeah, Linda. Now, is she? That is true. Then yeah. they do write some true things about it. They do. Come on they down. Do. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. How are you? <laughs> I have. She's coming from our audience she, of 150 people. Yeah. Right. How, How are you? Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Get you in here. Can you do it? We're all in comas. Yeah. Watch you your hands, Jim I, Lowe. I'll let you do it. Don't I'm get a Skippy. <laughs> I'm a Skippy. Jim is oh, over God, there. I'm Jim answer. Lowe, Skippy Bullet. How, how this are is you? A very scary scary show. So the inquiry oh, does. Help. So the inquiry does things right. Then sometimes, well, I mean, they mention rarely. Yeah, now, sort of, somewhat, kind of. <laughs> you're from Texas. You grew up together, or we what? We did. We went to the same high school together, and everything. You did. Mm -hmm. Same college. Uh -huh. I went to college in Oklahoma too. So you're an actress. Yes, I am. Yes, and you have anything new coming out, or what you do? Well, doing? no. Uh, I was recently on the Ted Knight show with Jim. Oh, you were. A small role, yes. Uh huh. And uh -huh. it was yeah, great it was, fun. It was we exciting. Had a blast. I see. It was real fun. But I've done some things in Nashville on the Nashville Network. Uh huh. She has a great face. Yeah, Great she does. face. I love Great, her bright face. Bright blue eyes. Lovely uh, face. And she has a southern accent. And I, that's too. what I like too. The I charm. I got rid of that southern accent. It's she not quite as broad as other people. That's wonderful. She's really working on it. I am yeah. working on getting rid of all those Oz. Don't, don't. Do you don't. do theater work too? Yes, I do. You do. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm studying here with Robert F. Lyons. So uh -huh. it's, is that who you're studying with, yeah. Jim? Mm -hmm. yeah. you're, see, that's the secret. Study all the time. Keep, I'll be teaching keep for working. Work. Cultural Center beginning November. The you are too. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Really? Yes. Wonderful. That's a good place. Yes. It's a good place. So you keep studying, you keep working out all the time, and you're in front of those cameras, Jim Bullock. Remember, each week you're in front of those cameras all the time working. And you're getting paid for it, working and having a good time, right? Is that Thank that God. is the, I love it. That Thank is, he does not have to collect unemployment. Uh, that's right. That is, what do you think of Hollywood? Oh, I love Hollywood. You're having a good time? Oh, I love California. Are you kidding? Uh -huh. I was I was living in Nashville, and they had snow too often for me, so I went, let's move to sunny California. Uh-huh. And I love it. It's great. A lot of friends out here. A lot of southern people are out here. Yes, yeah. true, true. Yes. Los we're, Angeles is the south. Oh, really? Yeah, it is, really. You're right. <laughs> we're taking <laughs> over. There's no question That's why they call it the Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying? Yes, I do. You do? Mm -hmm. I see. Are you kids going to put a thing together and, or secretly? Or? No. Well, we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> kind of yeah, we had a really bad mm. experience a few years ago that we kind of shy away from now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
so. Anyway, I just want to say one thing about uh, Jem Bullock. Jem, does your father really own that store? <laughs> yes, my dad is very wealthy. And I don't need to that... really work at all, but I do because I, I... just like it. No, my I, dad isn't. I bet you. I bet you get that all the time, don't you? But he's really wealthy. It's yeah. not. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm wealthy. In and love. the reason he works <laughs> is because God blesses the child that's got his own. That's right. Hey, that's a good. Is it right? That's, that's a good title that's, for that's a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good title for us. You realize we've been holding hands here. I have a thing for you. <laughs> now you go back in the show when starting next. You go back in the Ten Night Show starting next week, huh? No. No. Um, when does it start? The fourth. The fourth. Mm -hmm. We have some more time off. I see. And now who's on the Ten Night Show again? Say. Nancy Dusso. Right. Ted Knight. Uh -huh. The two stars. Uh -huh. uh, me. Uh, uh, Pat, Pat Carroll Pat and Lisa Attell. Yeah, this is a great cast. Good cast. Yeah, Excellent. it is. It's a wonderful show. You know, it really a, is. You're having fun with the show and everything else. That's wonderful good. people. Nice people, yeah. Really? really? Nice people. They're very... It's Working is a, it's a great pleasure. You know, I oh. mean, it is so wonderful. It's a breeze. Have you ever seen this lady on Broadway? I have never had the privilege of seeing oh, her on Broadway, she, but I have seen her on stage. Oh, she was wonderful. Isn't she marvelous? You great. were wonderful at that tribute, too. Wasn't she? You Thank were you. wonderful. Oh, Thank you did you. see you the tribute? You gave such a piece to that audience. Oh, you there? You were That's there? That's a great thing. You yeah. were there? That Skippy, night she... of course I was there. I performed. <laughs> what do you think? I phoned it in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Buck. <laughs> Skippy, what are you drinking? No, I was thinking of the Edwin Lester. I was thinking of the Edwin Oh, no, 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 no. This That's is what, the Yeah, the, the awards at the Variety Arts. The That's yeah. What, I got yeah. confused. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I your Halloween it's... party, we're going to be... Is October the 19th at the Waddles Estate. Uh -huh. And the telephone number is 622-7701 for tickets and information. Uh -huh. <laughs> is that next yes. Saturday? Saturday week. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Parky and Bess. Yes. Oh. Well, she's great in that. You should see. Yes, you was a wonderful woman. party no. and best. I, and and Edwin Lester, have you seen him lately? Yes. You have? Yes. How's he getting along? He's, he's Mr. Lester. Uh huh. He's like you know iron. Mm -hmm. He's durable. He's gonna be there until you really sink him. Tell us, <laughs> tell us the story about the days that you were thrown out of school. When you when you were singing a song, no, I wasn't thrown out. It was yeah. called down to the dean. Oh, okay, you were called down to the dean. <laughs> it was freshman, freshman. I That's went right. to Howard University in in addition to going uh -huh. to Juilliard School of Music. Uh -huh. I went to Howard University first, and missed. And uh, I was freshman talent, and I was singing Body and Soul, uh -huh. written by Johnny Green. I was in this wonderful white gown, and all, everything you know was in place. Uh -huh. and, and I said, "I'm all for mm. you." body and soul with which that I began to uh -huh. lift the gown uh -huh. and it right. got all the way up to just above the knee uh -huh. at which point it dropped you uh -huh. know but my dear I was in the dean's uh -huh. office the next day as one of those uh -huh. Wild freshman from questionable <laughs> background. <laughs> That's oh funny. My God. And yeah. I was on the dean's list for luncheon every uh -huh. Sunday, uh -huh. and that to, so they could keep us in check. That's mm. great. Jen Bullock, you're great. Thank oh, you Skippy, for you're coming. Wonderful. Thank Skippy, you. Love, thank thanks you. a lot. Thank I love you. you. I think you're wonderful. I'll see you at the thank you. I think thank you're wonderful. You. I think this is you're wonderful. This table was fabulous. Yes. I don't know that I've ever yes. seen a table do a job like this yes. before. And these chairs are beyond yes. reality. Now we're, the oh, all fabulous. Fabulous. Now we're off. <laughs> Good. Get behind your side, Skippy. <laughs>